These Colonial Marines are very tough hombres. Here's how to make a costume for fan films. Okay, here's how I made my Colonial Marine costume. I had to change it a bit from the movie because uh, I use all my costumes to make fan films and I shoot all my fan films in front of a green screen. And in the movie, the uh, Colonial Marine costumes were green and brown. But because I shoot with a green screen, I can't have anything green in any of my costumes or any of my props. Because uh, if I do, when I key that color out, it leaves a transparent hole through there. And I can't have that, so I had to change it. And what I changed it to was a brown and black color scheme instead. So it's sort of like a desert camouflage, but a little bit different. So starting at the bottom and working my way up, you're going to need a pair of boots. And this is just a pair of plain ordinary work boots. They work just fine. And a set of desert camouflage battle dress uniform BDUs. You can get these online. Uh, these are the pants. And this is the shirt. I like this old uh, desert style, the three color, because uh, it looks better. You can also get the modern digital style. That doesn't look too bad. If you want to use different colors, there's a black and white urban camouflage pattern that looks pretty good. Or you could just go with the, the plain uh, stuff from the movie and use a green and brown and a silver uh, woodland camouflage pattern, which you can find anywhere online. Or you can find these in an Army, Navy, or surplus store, too. The next thing you're going to need is some leg armor. And for that, I just used a pair of uh, baseball catcher's shin guards. Um, and in the movie, if you want to be at least semi-accurate, these are painted either brown and uh, black or green, brown, and black, whatever color you want to paint them. I left them plain black just because I used these pieces with other costumes too and I didn't want to uh, change the color scheme so I just left them plain black and that looks pretty good. Next is your belt with your equipment. Now this is a plain parachute belt, the kind with the web strapping and the big square buckles. Uh, I found this in an Army Navy store. To dress it up a little bit I have two ammo pouches. And then I have a sheath with a plastic knife and a airsoft holster with a cheap plastic pistol. The most complicated piece uh, that you're going to make and the one that's going to take the most work is the armor. And the way that I did my armor was to make it from craft foam and use a template based on a Pepecura model. So what I did was download the Pepecora model, printed it out on my printer, cut it, taped it all together, and then cut the finished armor into sub-assemblies and used those as templates to cut the pieces out from craft foam. And what I ended up with is this. So each of these pieces, uh, each shoulder piece, each of these shoulder straps, the chest piece, the abdomen plate, and the top back and the bottom back uh, were modeled from Pepecora that uh, I made paper templates and cut each of these pieces out from craft foam. And then to, uh, to stiffen them and make them a little bit tougher, what I did was coated the inside and the outside with two layers of watered down Elmer's glue. And that makes it waterproof. It seals it so that I can paint on it and it stiffens it a bit. To stiffen it even further, on the inside of each piece, I took a piece of plain cotton muslin cloth and used Elmer's glue to glue that in. And once that dried, it, it makes a, a stiff uh, coating sort of like fiberglass. It's not as strong as fiberglass, and it's also not as heavy as fiberglass, but it's pretty tough. It won't tear. It stiffens everything up. And it's a lot less expensive than fiberglass resin, so that's the, the method that I use. And it worked out pretty good. This is pretty tough. You can paint it easily. Um, it worked out pretty good. To dress it up a little bit, you'll need some more things. Uh, these are the grenade bandoliers that hang on the front of the uh, armor. And at the bottom here, it attaches to your belt, which goes around here. So this is just a plain uh, piece of web strapping with a buckle. And it attaches here. The buckle is here, and this end has Velcro to attach to your belt. 
What I use to make the grenades are the little Busby uh, Nerf shotgun shells. Uh, you can get those in any toy store has them. Uh, they look a lot better, I think, than the original props that were used in the movie. Those look sort of like a chapstick tube. Um, so I think these look better. So I uh, painted those up, used a piece of tape to uh, attach them on there, and glued everything down. And it ended up looking pretty good. For this abdomen plate down here at the bottom, I took some uh, a, a, a catcher's chest pad and cut the bottom part off, glued that on the inside of the armor so that it hangs down here. That ended up looking pretty good, and then I took a little piece of foamy and glued this little plate down here on the bottom. And uh, on the back, this is my homemade version of the light that fits on the back of the armor. This is all craft foam. I just glued together a box, put a few greeblies on the back, glued that onto the armor. I made a little arm of uh, foamies that reaches out, holds up the light, and then covered that with a piece of uh, electrical conduit tube, and uh, that looks pretty good. This light thing is actually a little container that I bought paper clips in, and this little lid opens and closes, so if I want to, I can get a battery and a little LED light, put it in there so this lights up. And uh, that, that worked really well because it looks good. It doesn't weigh very much, so it doesn't flop around a whole lot while you're wearing this. And it turned out pretty good, so I'm pretty happy with that. The last thing you're going to need is the helmet. And I made my helmet from a toy uh, army helmet that I got online. And basically everything on here is made of foamy. I started with the camera over here on the side. That's just a flap of foam with, uh, with a, a plate in the back here, and I used the I used a bottle cap to make the lens for the camera. There's a piece of foamy that goes across the front here to make that front armor plate, and then the ear flap is a piece of foamy here, two pieces of thick foamy glued together with a couple of greebies on it. The microphone thing is from a computer headset that I had sitting around. I disassembled that, took the mouthpiece off, and glued it to the inside here, and that ended up looking pretty good. And then on the back you have this lobster tail thing, and this is a strip of foam here, and a plate of foam here. And what I did was took a heat gun and shaped this foam into the curve that I wanted it to be in, and then uh, glued everything together, put some strips on here, painted the, it all up, painted the whole helmet, added my little game over me and uh, slogan on the top there and uh, turned out looking pretty good so I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. So here's what the armor looks like in action. That's it, we waste them, no offense. I say we dust off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure.